Hey YouTube, it's Eric here from Dose of ET. I also got Tyler with me and uh, today I got another product, the Anchor Soundcore. It's a Bluetooth speaker. I found it on Amazon. I was looking for a speaker and this thing was pretty cheap. It was like $35 on Amazon. So if you like this, go on Amazon and look it up because it might be worth it. It might not. I haven't opened this yet. So let's open it up and find out uh, if this thing's any good. So we just got some booklets here to start off with. We'll just throw those off the side. The next thing that comes out of the box is obviously the speaker right here. We'll put that off to the side real quick. And then it looks like the last thing that comes in this box is the cable. Obviously the charging cable. There's nothing else inside the box. Before we move on to the speaker, I'll show you the outside part of this box. It just tells you power, audio, and protection, and stuff like that. Not too much other stuff on this box. This isn't waterproof, so it won't stand anything with water. It's not splash proof or anything like that. So. Be careful where you take this thing. That's one of the drawbacks of buying a speaker like this. But, so this is what the front looks like. It says anchor. Then you got your buttons up here, your power, your plus and minus, your play, and your Bluetooth, obviously. Then on the back, it has anchor again. On the bottom, there's just nothing. On the side here, let's see what we got. Let's see, we got our mic. We got our power, then you got your audio in, then you got a light right here. I guess that's the indicator on battery. Then on the other side, you got nothing. So let's turn this thing on. Alright, so there's a blue flashing light, so obviously that means I gotta pair this to my phone. So give me one second here while I pair this. I'm still, it's still loading all this stuff to get ready for it to pair. All right, it's connecting right now. Honestly, this is quick and simple. See, I have it, it's already paired. It already popped up and everything. Like, I turned this thing on and all I had to do was turn on my Bluetooth and it, it popped up immediately. So this thing's pretty quick, it recognizes it pretty quick so let's play a song here let's go on YouTube um, let's play a song that I've been listening to lately we are triple X we fix the mass. I'll put my volume probably about triple X ready for you 13 so my volume's about, I believe that's 10, because it can go up to 15, so. That's not too bad if I raise it all the way up. Honestly, that gets pretty loud without me even adjusting any of this. So then I imagine that's the max because it beeped at me. But, so it beeps when it gets to the max. So I imagine it gets pretty loud. I'm not going to turn it up all the way for you guys. But battery life on this thing, it's expected to last around eight hours, I believe. I guess it all depends on what volume you have it set at and all that stuff. Obviously, if you raise it higher, it's not going to last as long. But if you have it like 50% or 25%, it'll last a little bit longer because it's not using as much power through the device. Charging it up usually takes around an hour or two hours. It all depends on how far you let the, the battery drain, if you use it all the way until it dies or all the way until it goes to 100%. So 
obviously all that will vary but I have Tyler here and he has his uh, JBL speaker and um, we'll compare it to his and and you guys can determine which one you like more so Tyler go ahead so here it is that's the JBL and then how you connect this thing you see up top the power and then the three three little dots are your battery life so that's full halfway and then about to die you got the volume right there if you can see that plus minus and then on the back you got the aux in and the power and then GBL and then how you connect it is Bluetooth and you see so you go on your phone go in the settings go to Bluetooth you see my Apple watch or my JBL charge connected and then let me play some music let's see how this is And it's about 50%. Maybe a song you make me wanna roll my windows down and so That's about halfway. About three fours. And quieter. It's waterproof. Um, the battery life is like, I believe, similar to the Anchor 8 to 12 or something like that. It depends on how often you use it, stuff like that, um, how loud the volume is. Really similar, um, except the waterproof part. But other than that, yeah. With final thoughts here, I would say if you're looking for something that is basically waterproof, then obviously go with the JBL speaker or another speaker that's out there because obviously this ain't gonna give you waterproof I was when I was looking to buy this I wasn't looking for something that was waterproof because I don't really plan on taking mine outside too much or maybe not at all but we'll see but mostly I'm just gonna have this probably on my desk or or something like that to listen to music or in my room or something like that but If you're looking for something cheap, definitely go with the Anchor, but if you're looking to spend a little bit more money, go with the JBL. But other than that, it's up to you guys and which one you prefer. But Ty, you got any last thoughts at all? I mean, they're both really similar. I think mine, he said his, what, what was yours around? $35. $35. Bucks. I think this was around, I want to say, 60 to 75 ish so I don't know, I guess it's because it's the JBL, you're paying for the brand. But other than that, the sound similar. Isn't a huge, huge difference. Just like I said, the waterproof, and that's about it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in another one of our videos. Peace.